Right, so hello again, and in continuation of the um, first part of this tutorial, we're now going into the baking side. So we have created this um, scene, and what you're going to do, you're going to do some little editing. Uh, for example, we're going to take this uh, target spot, and you're going to reduce the hotspot beam to something like 5. And then when we're going to do a quick render, Uh, we need to do something even better so a quick render uh, this is our spotlight we have we're going to change the the other one the fallout as well to 10 and let's see what we have here should we see a nice effect ok we're going to do even better than that we're going to make it even more so you're going to put for example 2 and you're going to put 5 and you're going to zoom in to our scene so the view is a bit more even more dramatic and I think now we should have something nice so if you render that yeah we can see how the spotlight is on part of the cube uh, we can then do something interesting is as you can see the texture here is our normal cubic cube texture but then the light has an effect on the cube which gives us these highlights and the baking is to pre to preload these highlights onto the texture so that when you render your scene and you have maybe a hundred of these ruby cubes you don't need you can delete the lights you can upload this texture with the pre uh, with the, the light effect pre-rendered which is called baking and that will save on the rendering load and time when you try to render the whole scene. So let's carry on and make it a bit more explicit because it might get a bit confusing. So what we need to do is we need to go to, we close this. We need to go to the rendering of menu top here and then we go render to texture. So we look for render to texture and here it is and we click there. And then what we have, render, oh, we have the wrong renderer. So we need to choose the right renderer. So we go to F10, and we make sure we have, for example, we're going to use um, Arnold. Let's see if that's rendered well. Yeah, that renders well. But we're missing the highlights. So we're going to try another one, uh, we're going to cancel, cancel, sorry, and we're going to choose for example I view file render, oh no we can't do that, so let's try uh, art, and we have our view that we want, yeah. Okay, so we can try another render because this one seems to be problematic. Okay, so we're going to use this because that gives us a result. So you see, there's no need to do any rocket science or anything. Just try and see what comes out. It's easier way. That's the way I do it because otherwise you end up having to go into deep into understanding of everything. So we're here. We go to rendering. We go to render to texture. We have this menu appearing here and what you need to do is we need to change the path and we need to change a few other things. So the path here should be where we have the previous path. So in our case we are in document, we are in local Google Drive, education, and this is where we want. We want to be here. Uh, second, what we need to do is we need to select the object and it's appearing here so we're happy with what we have here we can make this a bit bigger yeah uh, what we need to do we need to make sure that we have select edit select um, so we make sure we have everything here we have enabled 
yes then you have to go to projection mapping and um, mapping sorry mapping coordinates and what we need to choose here is we need to choose to use existing channel and what we will make sure and what we need to also add is that there is um, so we've done that use existing channel I'm looking at the settings because they're very detailed use existing channel yeah then we have all selected then we have to output we have to go to add and we have complete map and we add and then we have to go uh, enable so we have to carry on going down this so enable yes complete map yeah and find name so TGA we can change that to a, a JPEG or PNG save okay so now it's a png and then we change the site to a thousand twenty four by yeah just we start with that we make sure we have the shadows and what we do now when we've done that we click the render button Just failing them to target map slope, so we might have to change something to the target. Ah, yeah, target map slope should be we continue, we cancel. Target map slot should be diffuse color. My mistake, yeah. And now that we have that, and we have 20, yeah, we can then do the render and we continue, and we have the texture. Oh, mm, 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 mm. now that's interesting. Why is it doing that? Is it the problem with the? Um, let's see if it's allowed. UV checker PNG. Okay, so we're gonna ch find where is this UV checker PNG, and then we can add it often here we are because i've seen that also a lot in some of your files but well, it's not a big deal uv checker png and then vds max Where is the UV checker coming from? Oh, that's interesting. Uh, continue. So why do you have this problem? That's interesting because it didn't happen last time. Uh, let's have a look. So have we done any setting wrong? The path here. Yeah. to be darkness so what you're going to do before we're going to cancel close this and you're going to add another light which you're going to be on this side so we're going to move that spotlight across here make sure it's above and make sure it's um, Yeah, it needs to be here. Sorry. Yeah. 
and you modify this light and you're gonna put uh, five and seven okay and then if we are here and then we start again so we select this object go to rendering render to texture we have the ruby cube we have that we make sure the object is the existing channel it's interesting how this box came back okay you tell me so use existing channel yes and then channel one uh yes complete yes diffuse color complete map ah and this element you can delete and then we need to make sure that it's diffuse color and we then choose a thousand by 24 and um, now we've done all that we can render okay we have a better less less problematic issue here so now we've done that we have a texture that's been, I think it might be with the shadow how it cast shadow but at least on these two sides it's getting better um, we're gonna add another light uh, we're gonna do so we go to light we're gonna use photometric we're going to use target light and this time we're going to put the light here to target the cube so we make sure it's all in the right place so you see how it doesn't look exactly right but oh sorry i'm moving the wrong thing control z no okay so now we have this we're going to see what kind of effect this gives us a bit saturated maybe but at least we should have yeah okay uh, let's see how the light is set up yeah okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to start again so we select that we have the rendering and the texture is correct yeah we have the texture we have um, use again this thing that doesn't sit to. so use existing channels we have selected that diffuse color we have complete map we have um, the map was going to so we're gonna call it to to uh, it's a diffuse color it's a thousand by 24 and then we're gonna render so area it's much better now there's no problem so that's uh, a good illustration of uh, what's happening is that you make sure you don't have shadows and you don't have textures or settings or renderer that can create problems they always do unfortunately so now that you've done that, you have here the original and then you have the new baked uh, texture. Notice that underneath there's nothing because underneath it's meant to be the green color. Uh, sorry, it's meant to be the uh, green. So there's one, two, three, four. There's white. The yellow color is underneath here, but because it's on the, on the layer, the blue layer, and it's underneath, it's all dark. So now what we can do we can do something we can uh, we have this texture we can remove the lights so we save this so five save us and this time it's 
0.2a and when we, we render this quickly so we can render this so f10 and render this is how it looks okay and then what we do sorry I should have kept that render so we're going to save this file up oh, I'm okay. Uh, we're going to move this up because otherwise we have a problem here later on. So we're going to move this, we select that and you move it up a little bit. And if we render, so you see how this move, okay? And that shows that it's a live render. So we know the difference now. So we're going to save this and we're going to call it render. 502 okay and now we're going to see what we're going to do now so you keep this it's a live rendering we can close this one yeah we can keep that we're going to delete the light oh control z that is the floor i just want to delete so we delete the light and if you do a quick render so we have this rendering coming up and what we need to do now we need to go to the material so this is a new one which we save and we're going to call render 3 And now what you're going to do is you're going to go to the material editor and we're going to create a new texture here and again we go to the diffuse and we're going to select and you go to a bitmap lookup nothing new we've done that before and this time we take complete roadmap 2 i think it's called so where is it oh it's this one yeah and we're going to select our uh, clip and we're going to apply that to the uh, where is it yeah and that should give us our new um, okay and then what you can do if you do a quick render here we are the light will appear so you can see now without the lights they've all disappeared but we still have the light effects as if the lights were on the object because we've created um, a baking of the texture and we've then assigned it to the object so now we have this it means that we can pre-render all the objects with complex texture or with complex light effects and then we can put them um, in the scene and you can delete all the lights so that and keep only one or two lights so that the rendering becomes much faster so let's remind us what we have we've looked first at putting different uh, lights so that was the one with the texture and the light effects that was the one without with the texture with no light effects and this one is with the light effects with no lights but with the baked baked uh, texture rather than the original texture so i hope this is clear and uh, good luck with uh, doing this tutorial and getting through it and i will save this as 5.2b so that we have 5.2a and we have 5.2b Thank you.